Hello, my name's Chris, this is Blue Kraken Gaming, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where if you are enjoying the series, I would ask that you please leave a like, a comment, or a subscription. Uh, any or all help the channel out, and they help get the series out in front of other people, so thank you very much to those of you that do that. Now, in our last episode, uh, we... I'm trying to remember exactly what we did. I know we came over here because we were looking for quartz, so I think we finished off the power plant. You'd think I'd know this, I only finished recording it a couple of days ago, and you know uploaded them last night so clearly not paying attention um but we're gonna need to have a way of getting back so what i'm thinking because we launched ourselves off the side there is we're gonna need a way to get back up there so i kind of want the main factory up at the top there and then i think we will just oh i wanted zoop there Uh, yeah, so I kind of want to get the ramp up there just so we've got somewhere to go and we can get the truck back up there. Okay, so now we can get back up there. It's a little bit close to that quartz for my liking, but somewhere we can actually go. So let's go up there and clear that. You know, and try not to drive the tractor off the cliff. Come on. Ugh. No, not autopilot. Right, back up a little bit. Right, and then you can go this way. And then let's head up. Up, 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 up. Get going, get going, get going. Apparently this is quite a steep hill for the tractor. Okay, so, yeah, what I want to do is... Otherwise, we're going to have to have a huge path that snakes around because I want to do a lot of the quartz processing and everything here. And then I want to use the tractor to transport it back to the main base. So that's kind of the main plan. And that's why I want to get up here and clear it off because then we're already elevated um, and we can build most of our bits and pieces up here. And... There we go. Okay. So we're up here. So let's start clearing some space. I really don't want all of these. I really don't need any of these, like, leaves or trees or anything anymore. I just want to clear it all out to give us some room to work with. What do you mean I can't cut these down? Okay. So. What I think I will do... So I'll take down these big trees, and then I'm going to lay some foundations. Hoping I brought all the stuff I need with me for foundations, because I don't remember. Okay. Yeah, I want all of this gone as well. Have they patched it so the chainsaw isn't, you know, AoEing anymore? I'm sure it used to, like, AoE bring things down instead of, you know, one thing at a time. Mm, yeah, okay, right. So, let's get some foundations going. So, we want to... I want to give myself plenty of room. Okay. We definitely gonna need to take these trees down. Because they are right in the way. Okay. Oh, I owe those. Fine. Okay. So, after that, we're going to want some constructors. So, how much... If I go, give me some... I thought I'd research the quartz to... To give me access to that. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right. Come here, man. Right, show me the quartz tree. Yes, we've done that. Oh, I need to mine 20 quartz to do... Okay, alright. That's fine. 
that's fine. In which case, what I'll do is I will set up the little portable miners down here to get a load of quartz that we can do some research with um, while we finish our setup. Because there's no point in putting the main big miners down here yet because I haven't run any power. So they're just not going to work. Uh, what did you do there? Put that there. Okay. Right, you. We're going there. Uh, yeah, that one should be enough to, you know, do everything we need. So, we are going to want to get some constructors up here. Okay. So let's do, take that down for the minute, there's going to be a load of quartz coming in, let's do three of each, and what I'm thinking is, I don't mind that they're going to be blended, because I'm going to truck them all back in a single uh, thing, which means, overlapping another's clearance, come on. Uh, which means I don't mind having them blended in here because I'm going to do it with one truck and then I'll have to do a um, smart splitter on the other end to split it back out, which is fine. I don't mind that at all. So we're going to want a set of mergers. You're going that way. Yep, that's lined up with the input. That's fine. whack all of these down and then we're just gonna run this in here as quickly as we no that's awful I don't want that we're gonna run this as quickly as we can what is going on with me today you're going in there you're going in there. You're going in there. And you're going in there. I'm not going to run the belts out of these yet because I don't know how quickly that's going to go. But we should certainly have enough quartz now to do that research. To unlock the recipes. And I want to link this into the main power grid as well. Hey buddy. You look like you finished already. Thank you. Pick up Miner. Oh, I haven't got the room for that. Okay. Um, any sort going to fix that? Yeah, sort will fix that. Right, take that. And then we can have a look at getting those recipes quickly done. Which will be good. Right, okay. Special man, please. I do love how you can just slap the man down anywhere and get on with it like this. Right. So we can start that research. Thank you. And this research. Boyfic. And then crystal oscillators. Explosive resonance application. Ooh. And the explorer which we will want at some point, because that's going to make driving around easier, and it means we won't be using tractors. Okay, so, we've got two pure quartz nodes down there, which means we're going to be able to get, what, 240? So, you are going to make me some quartz, and you need 35 a minute, which is weird. Okay. I'm going to paste there. And paste there. Thank you very much for that tip. I do appreciate all of the tips that come in. You're doing silica and you're doing 22 and a half. So 22 and a half, 37 and a half is 60. So that's okay. 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 
In which case, what I think we're going to be able to do, assuming I've got the components for it, let's put two more down there, which should cover that off. I have no idea whether the belts are going to cope with this, because I've not done the maths on that yet. Right, and we will make you do more quartz crystal, and you will do more quartz silica. So we've got what, either five of each I think doing, so you're putting out 37 and a half a minute, you're putting out 22 and a half a minute, which means, that's, okay, so you can all have belt ones going in like that, but I think we're going to have a backlog, because I believe four of them is going to max out our current belts. Which means I've got two inputs here, so what I can do is I can go one, two, three, four. And we will just break this belt here for a second. We will then... Put you there. And are you going to let me go up like that? You are. There's a bit of clipping, which I don't like, so I'm just going to put another one there. That's better. And then we'll use both inputs. Okay. And then we will have to update the belts when we get better ones. Uh, which we need Logistics 3 for. Okay. So that's that all sorted out. We're then going to need... Power poles. all of these up. Okay. And it does mean we're going to need two lines of quartz coming up here. Oh, I did not give myself enough room there. Okay, so... Let's have some more room to play with. Okay. So, what we're going to need is we're going to need some splitters. I'm going to need these in two banks of four. So, we've got one, two, three, four. Uh, and we can belt these up. And what we're going to need to do is have some of these, because we'll run the belt above until we need to bring it down. And then one there. Come on, bring me the belt. There we go. Right, and then you're going to need to go here now. And I hope this isn't too sharp a drop. Nope. Cool. Excellent. That works. And then we can do the second rank along here. No. Cool. Okay, we can belt all of these in... Cool. So that's all that done. We will also need to take this power pole and we will need to run it over here because this is going to need to go down to power the two miners we're going to put down there. Which are you going to let me do them from here? You are lovely. 
that one's too far away. Okay, how close do I need to get? There we go. Can you reach all the way down there? You can. But I bet you're going to tell me that's too long for that one. Yep. In which case, we may as well take down that wire. And, you know, just have both of them going from down there. Perfect. Okay. And then we're going to want some conveyor twos. grab a belt can we get that over here no that is too long that is quite frustrating um doo -doo 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 -doo. what's the best way of doing this then i think the best way of doing this then if they are too long are going to be to run them up this ramp we've made okay and then up up, up, and round. And then... And that's got a clip. So, let's put one of these guys here. You can go up to that one and then across... Cool, so that's going to feed the far ones. Which is good. And then we just need to repeat that with this. For the near ones. I'm worried I'm going to run out of these tier 2 belts. That's what I'm worried about. Come on. Are you going to be nice to me? Are you going to let me bring you all the way up here? Right, there's clipping there, so I'm just going to raise this one up. And then down. an invalid shape. Are you going to be able to go straight from there into there? You are. And it clips through there, so I'm just going to take that out, because that's now fine. Cool. So that is now all wired in. So now what we need to do is just run power back, put something at the other end. Whoa! That was a mistake. Ooh, that was a mistake. Okay. And then we're going to have to figure out our truck route back. Because I will admit this has not been quite as direct as I thought it was going to be. Um, I might put it too high. Okay, there's the Caterium stuff over there. Just yeah, the truck's going to be interesting, but we'll need to put a truck stop at the other end, and then we'll need to feed all of this up into the various uh, buses we've got and whatnot to get it up and moving around the factory and into sinks and wherever we need it. But I'm I'm excited. I'm pleased. I think that's going to be quite nice getting the quartz off and away like that. Yeah, look, there's the Caterium. We're following the Caterium belt now, which isn't necessarily the route we're going to want the truck to take. Oh, are you going to let me just do that? Oh, why is too long? But now I can do that. Right, that should set the truck going, or set everything going. So let's... Let's head back... 
Uh, and then we can grab the truck. Uh, and work out our truck route back. But that should hopefully have set everything going. And we should start seeing some quartz moving by the time we get back there. Which would be quite nice. It would be nice if I can get this done before the episode end. And we've got about 10 minutes left for that looking at my little stopwatch. There we go. Dodge around the tree. Oh, that's not going to work. That's straight into a rock. <laughs> yeah, clipping into a rock. That's going to be a problem. Okay. And that's going to be too high. Oh, okay. How am I going to get up and around there? What have I found here? Get your iron ore. That will be good for when we want to do more. Uh, good. I've got the Xeno Basher. Yeah, that'll be good for when we want to do more steel production. To know there's a load of pure iron there. Okay, we're going to need to find a better way to get back. But, yes, we've got quartz moving. Which is great. Lovely. Okay, that's all good. We'll hop on the hop on the conveyor to speed up our running up this hill. Yeah, that looks like it's all feeding in beautifully. Cool. Right, okay. So then, yeah, we need to get the truck up here. And then we need to figure out how we're getting the truck home. Okay. So let's try and come up this side. Cool. So here is our truck stop. Uh, excellent. I see silica already being put through. Yeah. We've got quartz boxes. Awesome. Oh, look at that beautiful. Already got some coming through. Right, okay. So, let's do, 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 do open record menu. Let's start recording. Okay. Because I think we're going to need to head down this way. Okay, we're going to need to make some roads. Okay, right, stop recording. Delete path, that's no good. Right. So, yeah, we're going to need to make some ramps. Not walls, foundations, thank you. Uh, now we need to look onto the other part of the foundation. Come on, I want you to do a nice, smooth... Oh, you're not going to play ball with me, are you? I, I don't want you to... I want you to align the tops, not the bottoms. Okay, fine. Let's do a two. There we go. I mean, I don't like that, because that's going to be too gentle a slope. Come on. There we go. Right. That's what I want. Okay, and then let us deal with this tree. Okay. So that gets us down there. Then we can grab these and do this. Yeah. Definitely going to want that. OK. 
Okay, that should let us drive up there. No, not the workbench. I want to drive the thing. Okay. Right, I'm going to launch us off here. But that gives us a nice ramp now to get back up there. And then I think the rest of it is pretty smooth sailing back to the base. He says. So we might have to record this path at the beginning of the next episode. Yeah, look, we've got our power poles there, which is good. So it looks like I built it on the wrong level, which is a bit frustrating, but oh well, what are you going to do? Let's see how long it takes us to get back, because I might do the recording for the path on this level, and then we can set it going, and we can then, you know, have quartz going, which is great. I'm really pleased about that, because then I can get the Blade Runners. Uh, and yeah, start looking at that quartz path. Because I should look at some of the Caterian path actually a little bit more to see what else is in there. And we come down here. Beautiful. Look at that. It's almost like the path was made here for us. Cool. And then, I think, we can probably put the truck stop here. And then we can lift it up. Right, okay, let's do that. So, Logis Transport. Truck station. The player is in the way and the floor is too steep. Okay, well, let's get the tractor out of the way. Because you will want some turning circle. That's fine, I'll give you that. Truck station. Cool, that's that done. And then we want to grab some power. Where have we got a spare power pole? Lovely. Over here. Into there. Now we are also going to need to ship some of the coal in here actually, thinking about it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Which means we're going to need to do the belt. Uh, we're going to need to put them on the bus to bring it round. Okay, alright, let's... I don't want to record that path now because I don't want the truck to get stuck. So I think we really need to focus on getting the coal over here. Whoa, okay. I always forget that. Because I've got the concrete down here doing its little bits. Okay, alright, so we will need to move the coal around on the bus, which we can use to then feed that tractor and we can then use the tractor to get uh, the quartz over here we're up to three coupons that's quite nice that's just so sinking everything okay so yeah the plan is going to be to do the bus how are we looking on our deuterium tree I did just want to have a quick look at that what do we need for this we don't have that we're not on plastic yet we do have AI limiters, so we could do power switches, but I'm not too worried about that. Okay, so... Programmable splitters. I forget why the programmable splitters are better than the smart splitters. I forget what their improvement on them is. Um, but... I'm not too worried about that at the moment. So, it's going to be a bus expansion, and what my plan to do with this... Because I have been thinking about how I'm going to get the coal over here to um, that truck stop. Hang on, I put a ladder up here this side now, didn't I? So I can just climb up. Where's that ladder gone? There it is. Barely see it, because it's so 2D. Is, what I want to do is, where the coal is coming up here, uh, I'm going to put a smart splitter in here, and I'm going to filter everything off and around on the bus. Uh, and the overflow is going to go in that direction, because I don't think we're going to use that much coal for just powering this truck so that's going to be the plan for next time we're going to be filling in that bus because we've got that top line to go why is there a delay here what's going on with that belt oh, they're both twos okay odd little visual bit probably as it's going from one to the other Oh yeah, look, they're all doing it. Uh, yeah, so we're going to fill in that top one. We're going to run coal around there so we can have coal on the other side. Um, 
And then, yeah, we'll have quartz off and away, which will be cool. Did I line this up right for a door? I don't think I did, but I will. There we go. There's the other one trucking along. So, yeah, that's the plan. Um, yeah, I don't really think I've got much more to say on that, but at least we've got the quartz factory up and built. We now just need to get it back here. So, ooh. Ooh, I have just spotted something, actually. That someone did actually flag very, very fairly in that. Yeah. This is at capacity. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to want that logistics sorted out then. So that we can, you know, start feeding you this faster in. Because that's got a backlog. Okay, that's also going to be a thing to think about next episode. So, but as usual, um, thank you very much for those that do come along and do the likes, the comments, and subscriptions. It all helps the channel grow, helps this get in front out of other people. So, as usual, thank you very much for doing that. Um, and other than that, we will catch, or I will catch you all next time.